Hello friends and welcome back to Build Odd Anchors. In today's special episode, we're going to talk about our plans and projects for 2021. Stay tuned. As you know, storage has always been an issue for us. That it seems like my father always has something new to do, something new that he buys. And so storage do is I? always an issue because we always need more room. So what we're planning on doing is we have a dog kennel here that we never use. And so we're planning on taking out all the caging, taking off this roof right here, actually making this roof bigger, extending the walls out, and making it into a room that'll house both some firewood for a uh, stove we're gonna put in there which I'll get to later and then to either hold two smaller GTs like my tractor the 220 and then a, the uh, 83 448 or some one bigger tractor like the Sunstar or Paramax. So I built this pallet garage at the end of 2020 I just finished it before the real cold weather and snow came and it's hard to utilize right now with the amount of tractors in here. So my plan is to open this up by getting tractors out of here and to, into other spaces so at least half of this garage is open for repairs and to be able to pull things in. So we have three overhead doors in this garage. We have these two, oh, what are they? I believe they're eight feet tall and 10 feet wide doors that are covered with plastic. And then we have a seven by eight door here. So the plan to save some money is to build sliding doors utilizing this uni strut track. They make rollers that go right inside that track and you can hang your doors on. So these two doors will bypass over each other. So there'll be a double track for these two. And then this door, I have enough room on the left side to make it slide that way. I could probably build all three doors for including hardware and the door material itself for less than $500, which is cheaper than you'd spend on one overhead door. I think these three overhead doors installed would probably run me at least two grand. So I'm saving a lot of money by doing that. So one of the great features my father incorporated is this shelf that I'm standing on. It's like roughly eight, 10 feet off the ground. And it's meant to store implements up here as he has a few small things up here already. But the issue is to get them up here, he needs to use a carriage with a forklift on it. And where there's so many tractors in here, my father simply cannot do that. He doesn't have enough room. So that's another reason he wants to get so many tractors out of here. I made this fold down bench, but it's really not big enough or heavy duty enough for what I want to do. So I'm thinking I'm going to put a bigger, solid, non-movable bench. That's going to be housing my drill press and an angle grinder, like a, like a bench top eight inch grinder, et cetera. Another thing I need to do is bring the grade up. As you can see where Big Brett is standing, I probably need to bring the grade up about a foot. So I'm gonna have to bring in a bunch of either crushed gravel <clears throat> with stone or something that compacts good. And I'm gonna be bringing a lot of this grade up. I got a lot of dirt work to do in this area. I wanna make it just look nicer in general and give a solid firm base to drive into the garage from. Oh, so we got this nice pile of mostly red oak that me and my father cut last year. It's probably six, seven cords, somewhere in that ballpark. That's full cords. So I need to process all this wood. You saw the custom table for the super split. You saw the saw buck for the three point hitch. So I have a couple other wood, firewood related projects I'm gonna be working on. And we're gonna be doing a lot of wood processing this year. This is actually the pile that my father hit his uh, coyote on yeah one of these logs i don't know which one of you it was but one of these logs is the one that rolled back, back and smushed and hit my steering wheel and did some damage to the coyote luckily i didn't get hurt but i yeah. easily could have been killed so thankfully i was lucky that day so the last project on this garage shed is going to be finishing the outside i'm thinking i'm going to do some dark brown trim coil on the eaves and the rakes and then a red vinyl on the outside so it kind of matches the barn. 
and that's gonna be the whole building. I'm gonna do the garage and the shed all at one time so it all matches. I think it's gonna look really sharp when I'm done. So I realize to some it may look like a goofy building and it does look kind of odd, but like anyone, I'm limited by how much time and money I have for a project at that given time. If I could go, <clears throat> if I could go back in time, I'd love to build a 40 by 60 pole barn and have all my stuff in one building, but unfortunately I never ran into a money tree at the time, so I did the best I could. But this is still gonna be a nice building for me and Brett to work on tractors, drink a Stewart's orange cream soda and have good times. So if you look, Right around where Brett is, is four trees. There's one, two, three, four dwarf apple trees. And I'm thinking in the middle there, we're gonna be putting some raised beds for vegetables. I want raised beds because it's easier on my back. It's easier to weed. It's less likely animals are gonna get into it. It's gonna be easier to mow around. And I think it's just gonna look nice. So I'm thinking maybe a couple of longer skinny beds, maybe like a three foot wide by 16 foot long bed. And that will be plenty of vegetables for the family to use. So another decent sized project I'm gonna be tackling this year, I think, is taking the bulkhead off and putting a doghouse building around the bulkhead enclosure. These metal doors are okay, but this one leaks and it has a lot of issues and it's a pain to get to. So I'm actually gonna be building a little building the roof over that and taking the doors off so that would be a fun project so right now we have a chicken run as you can see but the issue is there isn't enough space when my grandfather had this run it was plenty of space because he had eight birds i think six six and it's 80 square feet so this works fine but my father has 14 birds and an 80 square foot run simply isn't enough and while they like to be outside just roaming, they can't all the time because of either weather, weather predators or sometimes even both. So we're planning on roughly tripling the size of this run to give them more than enough space to run around, do whatever, and be safe without having to worry about any predators or anything like that. And to compensate with the weather sometimes being wonky, especially during the spring in New England, we're probably going to end up putting a roof on it to help with that too. So we have this approximate three and a half by six foot trailer. I actually made this a few years ago. And I got a little overly eager pulling it with a Ford, trying to go over a frozen clump of ground and ended up breaking the axle off. So I'm gonna be fixing that and hopefully adding a hydraulic cylinder so that I can hook to my rear remotes in the tractor to make this a hydraulic dump trailer, kind of like the super tilt that we have. So that'll be a fun metalworking welding project. So I'm always coming up with crazy ideas and projects to make. I really enjoy building things, hence the name Build a Lot Acres. And what I'm kind of envisioning is utilizing this three-point fork setup to make some kind of a dumping box, mainly for the Ford, where I don't have a front loader, but I still want to be able to transport stone or dirt or firewood. So I'm thinking of coming up with some way to utilize this old wagon box. I'm going to have a pivot on the back so that I can tilt it. It'll probably be just a hand dump, but it won't be that heavy. But uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of a way to come up with a dumping box that's not going to cost me $500 like the ones you buy online. So if any of you have done that and you have any ideas, let us know. So now that it's spring at Build A Lot Acres, we want to get to use the coyote more because we know that you guys love seeing it. But sadly, because it's, it was winter and today's one of the first days of spring, we couldn't really use it with anything other than the plow. So that's all you guys really got to see. But now that it's spring and the days are getting a little bit nicer, I'm hoping to be able to use it with a lot of other implements, especially this big work box I have that I'm standing on right now. We have a lot of projects that we're planning on using this for, and we have a lot that we're planning on doing with it. So make sure you stay tuned for that. So we have two trailers here. The first one is a Super Tilt. It's a Canadian made trailer. It's been great to us. We're not planning on doing a lot to it, just painting it because it's been really good to us and we owe it a new coat of paint because its current paint is 
pretty deep. Then we have this heavy duty trailer right here. I don't know what we're gonna do with it, but we're probably gonna make a road eagle trailer out of it because we already have one and my dad would like a second one that's slightly bigger. So make sure you stay tuned because we will probably end up doing that sometime this, this summer, I imagine. So I have this nice big area where I just cleared this last year and made the processing center a lot bigger. But I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, but I'm thinking of putting a some kind of a pallet woodshed over here. It's gonna house maybe eight cords of water and up for one year, as well as maybe a tractor and a splitter that will get them out of my other buildings and it'll be closer to here so I don't have to drive them over the wet lawn and make ruts in the springtime. So that would be a fun build project, the pallet woodshed. So I created a nice trail system here in my 21 acres. We have, I'd say close to half a mile of trails that are plenty big enough for even my coyote to get down but we're gonna be actually expanding. So if you look, the trail system currently diverges off to the right, but straight ahead as you keep going, there's a lot of like, what looks like a trail and it is. Me and my father are starting to make a trail there. And it's gonna probably, I'd say make this close to three quarters of a mile, maybe even a whole mile of just trails. And that's gonna involve a lot of work. It's gonna involve stump grinding. It's gonna involve a lot of clearing of wood. It's gonna involve York raking. It's gonna involve a lot of like smoothing everything out, clearing a lot of uh, rocks and probably a lot some of divots culvert and, work. Yeah, culvert work. Drainage. Like Drainage. It's gonna be a big project. So there's gonna be a whole series probably on trail work. Yeah, I'd so, say a whole series. So stay tuned for that. So we hope you've enjoyed today's episode. These are some of the projects we're looking to do in this coming year. And hopefully we'll have videos on them soon. Thanks, friends.